So, we're gonna put these new brake pads on. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's basically, this one's basically grinded down to the pulp. If you can, if you could see this one compared to this one, can you see like how, how much worn down this, th this one is? Well, I think it's affecting, it's starting to affect my brake because there is a, there is a metal piece that starts, uh, uh, sticking out and it'll start rubbing on your rim and you, you get less, less brake power. Um, this is actually something that, uh, I haven't seen too many um, how-to videos on, and I actually didn't even know it was a thing. But you know how, like, um, a lot of brakes, they squeak? They, like, squeal? You know, they sound like raptors? Um, well, I looked up a video on YouTube, like, how to not make your brakes squeak. And you know what they do? They actually tow their brake pads in. I actually never even knew what towing the brake pads in are. But um, if you could see how there's... Here, let me take this off. If you can see how there is... Uh, these different set of uh, spacers. Um, sometimes you wonder why are, the, why are these spacers rounded? You know, because there's actually a con a concave spacer right here, and then there's also a round spacer. And then if you put those on top of each other, it'll it, it see how it moves like that, like a sphere. Um, well, the reason why is so you can tow your brake pads in. So we'll do that right now. We're going to get uh, an Allen wrench, and how you tow the brake pad in from what I've been taught, let me see if this is showing up right here, um, so how, how you uh, tow the brake pads in um, is you get a spacer, like so, um, a spacer, you can use probably a quarter, some sort of quarters, um, but we'll, we'll take this brake pad off. Well, well, okay, so first off, you want to make sure that you are in the middle of the two rounded spacers. It's pretty obvious, but I don't know, some people might not know that. We're going to put our brake pad on. Maybe I should get a little closer. Okay, so we're going to put our brake pad on. Is this the right one? Yeah, I guess this is right, yeah. Oh wow, you know what? I actually have my brake pads opposite. Okay, so we're gonna put them on like this. Sometimes you need to adjust this down because sometimes your brake pads are so worn down that you've had to readjust your brakes. So, there we go. Now we're going to simply just put these spacers back on. There's this, so we got our Allen wrench. And then, so how we tow our brake pads in. Um, it's kind of weird because I, I kind of should have more light around here. But what you do is you want this brake pad loose. If you can see how, if it's moving right here. Um, so what we do is we put the, the spacer or uh, coins or quarter, and you want to put it at the end of the brake pad right here so it toes in like this so you do this and then what you do because then you go oh well how am i supposed to tighten it down well then after that what you do is you then press on the brake lever you press on the brake lever and i don't know if you can see that but because of those convex spacers it actually this the, if i were to not have the spacer right here the brake pad would just be flat and the thing what happens is if your brake pad brake pad is flat on the rim there's a vibration that happens and that's what makes that's that squeaking sound. it's almost like a uh, some sort of instrument thing so what you do is you put the space right here you press on the brake right here your back brakes and you want to tighten it and I've only done this maybe three times because I actually didn't, no one's even told me this. It's kind of crazy. All the years I've been riding, no one's told me that you can actually tow your brake pads in to make them stop squeaking. So we'll do it on the other side. Oops. Okay, 
let's see here. Um, okay, yeah, let's take this one off. So. Sometimes it is good to uh, save these brake pads. Um, if they're not totally worn down, but I think this one's getting there. So I think I'll just throw them away. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We uh, loosen this one up. Take it down to the two uh, convex. They're the most like kind of silvery looking ones. This one on the rim. Make sure that when you put it, it it's kind of obvious, but there is a side. See how this one kind of curves like that? Well, you want you want it. I mean, it's obvious. You want it to curve like that for the uh, thing. But I guess there's some uh, kid out there that watches. Maybe you don't know that. Put this one back on. And we take our spacer and we put it at the back. Oh, wait, let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then we put it in the back of here. And I, I actually, let's see, I might have gotten the towing in wrong. Um, I can't remember if I had to flip my bike over and tow it, because there actually is a, because you know how I'm towing it on this side? I actually can't remember if I was supposed to tow it on this side. Um, so that can kind of get a little confusing too. I don't know if, we'll just see if it works this way. Because I actually think I might have gotten it wrong now that I think about it. I think I actually might need to flip my bike over and tow it on this side. Or I guess you don't need to flip your bike over. a little out of alignment. Let's see. Oh, my brakes sweet. No, well, my brakes not sweet. Well, they squeak a little bit. There you go. How to um, make your brake pads not squeak, and it's called towing in. And it's kind of strange because I only barely learned this like this year. So what's kind of interesting is actually um, I've actually heard many, many riders, myself included, uh, we would actually buy completely new brake pads because we thought that the composition of the material of the brake pads itself we're making our brakes squeak. It could also be that as well. Um, back in the day, so here's the thing is I, going into some lore about, I get a lot of questions on why I, I run brakes. Well, the thing is, is I grew up racing and I went to a race camp for BMX and they would always hark on everybody. Actually, you weren't even allowed to go, you, you weren't even allowed to go on the track if you didn't have brakes. I don't know why, I mean, ask them, but you know, I mean, I guess, you know, because it was, it was like a racing camp, they probably didn't want kids getting hurt and stuff. So ever since them harking upon having brakes and stuff, uh, I just kind of grew up running brakes. There was a while, maybe two years, I didn't run brakes. But I remember like growing up, like the older guys that I got kind of taught by to ride, they would always be like, bro, you got to get the red salmon. Uh, I can't even remember the brakes, but there, there are these red salmon brake pads. And I think they were like mountain bike brake pads, but um, man, I can't even remember the the brake pads it was. Um, red salmon brake pad BMX. Oh, cool stop. So actually, yeah, th these things right here, those were the brake pads that everybody I I grew up with. They were all about um so yeah um anyone out there that wants to make their brakes not squeak or squeak a little less make them a little less quiet you can take a spacer and put it in there and tow your brake pad in so it doesn't vibrate Bzzz.
And anyway, that is the tutorial. Farewell.